interesting developments in the USA. It seems that the Biden administration is on the verge of introducing, subject to Congress approval, which can never be relied on, of course, to introducing a surtax on the top 0.02% of US billionaires. It applies to those earning over 10 million pounds a year and the surtax on their income will be an additional 5%. For those earning over 25 million pounds a year, then that surtax jumps by another 3% to 8%. So this only applies to the top 0.02% of billionaires, but it will generate hundreds of billions over time, it is said. And those hundreds of billions will be needed because of the Biden administration expenditure, public expenditure on supporting the economy, et cetera, rather like we've done in the UK, amounts to a 1.75 trillion pounds. Interestingly, before this suggestion came through, and you might remember this as one that was backed by Elizabeth Warren and I think Bernie Sanders, although they weren't, of course, elected uh, or chosen as the Democrat candidate. And that was a one-off wealth tax on all of the US billionaires. I think there's 700 of them. But billionaires in the US would pay a one-off tax, rather like that wealth tax commission suggestion that was made in the UK. That didn't pass. And what we have, uh, it didn't even come to light really uh, and what we have is that surtax idea the idea of a wealth tax i think in the us has pretty much gone now under this administration and it definitely has if it ever had any life under the conservative government what we might see although it seems highly unlikely or less likely now that we've had no changes to capital taxation in the uk in the last budget is a more fundamental reform of capital taxation in the UK. But as I said, the Chancellor didn't take the opportunity in the last budget to do that. And that must reduce the chances of him actually doing that at any point in time. But we can never be sure.